Julia, I remember the first time I ever saw you. It's 200 State Street, Boston, 15th floor, Harborside, September afternoon. I'm not sure you noticed me that day, <laughs> but I noticed you. And I knew I was in big trouble. <laughs> I wanted to promise myself that I wouldn't like you, that I wouldn't try to date you, that I wouldn't try to marry you, but I never made that promise to myself because, as you know, I don't make promises I know I can't keep. As you know, I tend to be a bit of a realist. <laughs> and despite my love for romantic comedies, have never quite bought the idea of a soulmate. But almost five years ago, I met you. This thoughtful, intelligent, handsome, impressive guy. You make me laugh, you make me think, you make me coffee in the morning, and you make life seem brighter. You're my rock, you're my good egg. <laughs> and I am head over heels for you. My hope and prayer to the two of you is that you two have found your lifelong soulmates and that you experience the same joy and love that Dina and I have been blessed with for 31 years. And my one piece of advice that we will both add is to remember the magic of this day, your special wedding day, and forever hold tightly onto and cherish the loving bond that the two of you have. We wish you happiness, excitement, love, and adventure now and forever. Cheers to our bride and groom. It's just incredible to see how far you guys have come, and I'm really, truly proud of both of you. I wish you nothing but years of happiness. Love you very much, both of you. Julia, I am so glad to see that you have found your Prince Charming and Sean, and can't thank you enough for bringing another incredible role model into my life. So there truly is no better day than the day when you marry your best friend, except you better remember she was my best friend first. Cheers to the happy couple. I love you guys and can't wait for the many adventures ahead.